G'day Dark Realmers, it's horror author and illustrator Michael J. Elliott here with you again and today I've got another anthology review for you. Hey, if this is your first trip to the diaries, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us and if you want to keep up with the best in the world of horror from books, movies, creepypasta and trivia, then hit that subscribe button and the bell notification and you'll always be up to date. Okay, well today I've got for you a delightful little anthology called The A to Z of Horror. And we're going to be looking at it right now. Yeah. Okay, Dark Realmers, The A to Z of Horror is a delightful little tome by British author Ian Rob Wright. And each letter of the alphabet is the start of a story. Now obviously there's too many for me to go through and list them all for you but they're wonderful. Now um, Ian Rob Wright is one of those authors who doesn't spend a lot of time with character descriptions or setting descriptions okay so he doesn't go on and on paragraph after paragraph about her beautiful chestnut hair or anything like that. He gives you the bare minimum and gets into the action. And I quite like that because sometimes authors can be a bit too um, pedantic with, with descriptions, okay? But this author gets right into the action, um, which makes the short stories really enjoyable. Now, um, as I said, there's quite a few here, but some of my favorites, one was called P4 Peeling. And for all my Dark Realmers out there who are also horror uh, fans, but also authors, indie authors, this will appeal to you because it's about an accountant who has written, in his own words, a masterpiece. Yeah. And it's called um, The Twilight Shades of Hunger. So you can see how the author's firmly got his tongue in cheek there. But he has a great disdain for indie authors. No, 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 there's nothing, you know, it's all dross and trash and and um, you know he has written great great literature along the lines of Dickens and everything so straight away we know this character's as arrogant as anything and he's off to a convention where he gets the chance to push his manuscript in front of agents and um, in front of um, you know publishers which is all great and standing in line he meets some other people and he's not feeling terribly well. He's feeling a bit sick and seedy and so forth. And um, he he talks about, you know, like, you know, the, the trash that's written today. And a, a chubby little lady who writes erotica says, well, my last book sold 200,000 copies, you know. <coughs> um, and as the story progresses, he gets sicker and sicker. And he discovers too that he's not, you know, wonderful and, and, and as talented as he thinks, you know. Um, and one of the agents says, look, you've got the makings of something here, but it's far too, you know, like the, the days of, you know, el you know, huge speeches and huge descriptions, three pages of a guy smelling the flowers in his gardens, just over. How dare you, you know. Well, the revenge he gets on the literati is just wonderful because once we find out how horrifying this illness he has is is just frightening okay um, the descriptions are wonderful okay um, there's another one there too that um, is called I think it's from memory um, you for urinary infection or urinary tract about a guy who wakes up after getting totally bladdered and for for those of you who don't have a British background bladdered means you know getting drunk and uh, he he apparently took this woman back to a, a warehouse, you know, and um, he wakes up and staggers back home. And he and this guy finds it a little uncomfortable having a pee. Well, let me tell you, Dark Romers, when he goes uh, to the clinic to get checked out, what is discovered and what comes out of him is absolutely terrifying. It's gross. And if it doesn't I um, encourage you to practice safe sex, then nothing will. Look, guys, this is a great little anthology. I loved it. Now, obviously, some stories resonated with me far more than others, but they're all different 
and they all have a unique feel about them. There's one story um, which sort of raised my hackles a little bit because it's Q for quarantine and it's set in Australia. Okay, which wave the flag, yes, yay. But he really needed to um, check things out because Aussie, when you talk about someone as being an Aussie, is A U double S I E, not O S S I E. Okay, that irked me, just from an Australian point of view, I might add. But also, some of the dialogue was just straight out of you know, Steve Irwin, and, and, and look, honestly, Dark Romans, we don't say crikey or God, stone the crows every five minutes. So, yeah. Um, but I can understand it's a stereotype, just like there's American stereotypes and British stereotypes. But apart from that, that was my only one little gripe, Dark Realmers. So look, you're going to love this. It's it's clever, it's witty in parts, but it's also horrifying when it needs to be, okay? Now, you can find this on Amazon, and it's also available on Kindle Unlimited for you to borrow. It's also available on other e-readers. Now, I'll be checking out um, some more of this author's work, um, and perhaps next time I'll uh, check out one of his full-length novels just to see how they compare in terms of his style with short stories. Okay, so that's it from me, Dark Realmers, Michael J. Elliott. I hope you've liked this review. Let me know in the comments down, down below whether you've read the A to Z of horror or if this has inspired you to read it or maybe turn you off a little bit because of some of the stories I've described. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this review. And as I always say, Dark Realmers, stay in the light and I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye for now.